Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello friends, today we want to meet you. Lady, let's play outside. Created by Hardy Lip. This is Lady. She really likes playing on her gadget. It all began when mom used her cell phone while cooking and dad worked on his lap. That, that finally introduced Liddy to Gadget. Liddy really likes to play on her tablet. Everyday games such as learning how to cook, knitting a scarf, and coloring. Oops. Science then, Lily was too bashy to care about her friends, her dad, and her mom. One day, mom and dad took her, took Lily's tablet, and that made her cry. During dinner time, after her shower, while just while brushing her teeth, ladies, 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 so ladies, so always on her tablet. It even accompanied her until she feel sleep. In the morning, mom gave Lady a bag she had prepared. Lady asked, Where are we going, mom? Mom answered, we will go on an adventure to discover new things. The curious lady took the bag and hurried to the car. Dad put the stuff in the car. He asked the lady, are you ready to go on an adventure? I'm absolutely ready. On the way, Mom was enjoying the view. While Dad's eyes were fixed on Lady, who was playing on her tablet. When they arrived in the forest, Liddy saw different kind of animals. The singing bird, the three climb squirrels, the snoring fox, fox and the creeping bugs.
they found a good spot for the campsite. Dad then built the tent and Mom prepared the food. But Liddy once again playing, played on her tablet. When Liddy was bushy playing on her tablet, the battery suddenly died. Liddy was left bored. Mom come over to Liddy and asked her to collect the bridge for the bonfire. The more, the more bridge that were collected, the warmer the fire. Just like the game in your tablet. Lady, Lady was excited to gather the bridge one by one. She even found and and she got one. She try she tried to pull it, but but heard a scream. Hey, don't! Curious, curious, lady saw. So many fluttering butterflies filling the forest. Lady flew wherever the butterfly flew. flew. She didn't really realize she had wandered off the campsite. Liddy tried to ask about a way back to the camp. She asked the fish. She asked the bird. She asked the turtle. She asked the monkey. But all the animals were ignoring her. Then... Liddy cry, cry and cry, until a little bear come to her and ask, Why are you crying, Liddy? The bear asked. How do you know my name? Liddy asked. Come, I'm a bear in your game, and the voice in the bush was me. The bear answered kindly. Are you real? I forgot the way to the campsite. Could you help me? Lady asked. Of course, actually. I don't know what exactly, but my parents probably know, answered the bear. And then they went to the bear's house. And on the way there... They touch the touch me not plant. Chased butterflies and ate some berries. They enjoyed another's food. Their trip was so much fun. And soon they arrived at the bear's house. The little bear introduced Lady to his mom. He told her about how how she could find the find her way back to the campsite. Mama bear invited Lady to come inside. Inside, Mama bears wa, Mama bear was knitting a scarf. 
Lady asked Mama Bear to teach her how to how to knock. Lady feels something different than the game because she really touched the soft yarn and hit the knitting needles. When Papa Bear was painting, Lily wanted to know how it felt to color on paper. Lily enjoyed every stroke on paper very much. She felt something different than coloring on her tablet. Lily helped Mama Bear cook the soup. Liddy did it like she was playing on her tablet. Liddy then ex explained what a family meal was like, enjoying the soup and the sweet honey without playing on her gadget. Finally, after they finished the meal, the bear family helped Liddy get her bridge and took her back to the campsite. Liddy thanked the bears, the bears, the bear family, and said and said goodbye to them. The bonfire. Kidla, the one between Liddy and her parents, Roast, roasted marshmallow brought Liddy's family together. She told her parents about the adventure she had while she got gathering. The bridge about the bridge about touching the touch me not plant, playing hide and seek, and eating fruit in the forest. On the way home, Lily once again taught, told the parents about her adventure in the forest. Also about how she learned to night color and cook with the bear family. But Lily's parents told she was just, just imagining things. It turned out many things are better without her gadget. Okay, enough for today. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.